What if you aren't the one going through a divorce, but you have a friend who is? How do you support your friend through this difficult time? Often when something is uncomfortable, we don't know how to respond and so our reaction is just to avoid it. And it's so common for people going through a divorce to say that they stopped getting invitations. But ignoring friends at a time when they need the friendship the most is the last thing you should be doing. So what can you do? Here are my tips on how to support a friend that's going through a divorce. Number one, you haven't been through it and you don't understand, so don't try and pretend you do, okay? Acknowledging that you don't know what it's like or what they're feeling is okay, but tell them that you support them and just listen. They just need to know that they're not alone at a time that is so overwhelming. Number two, Offer to help them in a concrete way. And this is my favorite one. Maybe you bring them dinner. Maybe you take their kids so that they can have a night to relax or cry or whatever kind of self care he or she needs in that moment. Number three, and this is important too, don't bash their ex. I know the temptation is great, but telling your friend that you never liked their spouse or you saw it coming is not going to be helpful even if your intentions are good. This could only fuel anger and hurt and heighten your friend's emotions when they are already fragile. Number four, don't judge. Whatever your personal feelings about divorce are, keep it to yourself. I remember telling someone I knew that I was getting divorced and they responded by telling me that divorce was evil and said something along the lines that I was going to help. Wow, thanks buddy, that made me feel good. So keep your opinions to yourself and a default response is just to listen and hear them and tell them that you see them. Number five, stay out of it. Now, there are some of us out there who are peacemakers and we don't like conflict and our reaction when we see conflict is to try and fix it. But I promise you, no good deed goes unpunished. There are professionals out there to help them negotiate. So if you're asked to get involved, just say, I don't think it's appropriate. Remember, you'll never know the internal struggle that the couple has gone through or what individual fears your friend has or how they're feeling. So just be there, be supportive, and most importantly, don't ditch them even if you're uncomfortable. Now, I can't finish up today without mentioning my podcast, Happy Even After. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do rate and review it so it can be found by the people who need it most. See you soon.